specifically in August this year. Man, blooming Portuguese. We were closer to getting them out quite a while back. You guys can just chill out for a wee bit. No need to drink up that attrition quite so much. Alright, what was my plan for Austria again? He's probably fighting Milan, right? Ha, <laughs> only Austria would get involved. Can't underestimate Austria, though. They always bring quite a lot to the party. But once, Fran uh, once France is thoroughly pummeled down, I can then turn on Austria. And once I kick Austria out and break them up with Spain, I can pummel Spain, who is also allied with me, so we're going to have to figure that one out. I could break that alliance kind of soon, I guess. Or just break truce. That's a traditional way to end one of my campaigns. <laughs> Ending it is right. Okay, once I take this last uh, fort, which I could take a lot faster if I had a actually reasonable number of units on it, then we are turning our attention over to Habsburg. Habsburg scum gotta die. Oh, huh, well that was fast. This is good though. 80,000. Let's get over to Ferrara region. Frankly, that's where everyone should be right now. And how's the bleeding going? Pretty good on our side. We still need to bleed some more though. I need Spanish Brazil. They, uh, do they have any troops left to bleed for us? They do. Alright, Spanish Brazil and in fact all the Spanish dependencies need to die quite a lot more. Um, the Dutch have actually been pulled out of this already, which is a shame. Alright, just attrition is but a number at this point. Everybody get over there, please. Get in, please. Now nah, we're good. Economy is suffering a wee bit, that's okay. Portugal, Spain, but still lots of people. So again, it's Milan I need to destroy. But I want to be in position. And that means all these guys got to be over here. And then we just flood in. There's not a lot of flooding that we can do, but I could, if I was clever, have my units ready for that. Uh, I don't know, if I give Trebizond any amount of time, they're going to ally with someone else, so we'll just have to smoke the attrition for a little bit. I'll declare war on Treb. And then a month later, I'll gun down Austria. Defended. Hmm. The scum. Well, I guess he's got it where it counts for this campaign. How are we doing on eradicating those filthy uh, Chinese? Amazingly, I haven't started on you. But I think you'll be the last one to ever finish then. There we go. No, there's still these, but I ah, can't do anything about those for quite a while. Regrettably. Alright, let's go and deal with... Trebizond. I even managed to bring a leader. I would have thought I'd forget that. I'll probably split up 50-50, Kafa Kuban, and then we just sandwich in on Mantrega. Means we can walk either way. Sure, Spain wouldn't get involved, but that's fine. Portugal will do nothing. Georgia, actually, not that you're an issue here, but I could make this one sweet, quick war. 
Yeah. You didn't like them much to begin with. <laughs> what a shame no one will save you. It really is a shame because I like these guys. Just don't like them enough apparently. They have land that I need. Phew. <laughs> I thought that would block me. I thought the fort was going to block me from uh, getting off my boat, which would make nonsense. Alright guys, keep bleeding for me. We just need a couple hundred thousand more. Wait, what? That's a lot of influence nobility. The diet will go away soon enough though. And I should only need the capital from them. Wishful thinking, maybe, but it's all I should need. And... Also, it's nice having the boats here. I'm sure those units can do fine on their own. I want to go and deal with Austrian scum. And actually, I can jump right on him as long as my units are over here in Mantua. Which actually tells me why bring anything other than the Merc scum there. Oh, he's scattering. I need to catch him fast. Preferably with an even better general. Okay. Milan and your good friend Austria, you're going down. Oh yeah, that. Kinda forgot the whole exile rules there. Yeah, well. They're just guidelines, right? Also, I forgot he had his subject. This is where I find out he gets yet another subject, but oh well. Hmm. This is gonna get tricky, isn't it? He's got a lot of units right here and right now. Let's hope we're as good at fighting as we think we are. down. That's all I want out of you, really. If I don't get the wrong province here. Now, Kaffa and we are sorted. There's no need to push this any further. He says, whilst taking all the money. And, uh, I admire Odiev. Cannot force Trebizond to return their last province? That doesn't make any sense. Oh well, it's being done anyway. Give it to me. Thing of beauty. Now I was bringing my boats back because I wanted... Uh, to help out, but it might be more helpful just to bring another 80k. So towards getting that achievement, wherever it is, wherever it is, Fanatic Collectivist, 9 out of 12, 3 more to go. Shouldn't be difficult, he says, staring at a battle that has him outnumbered. I completely forgot about the Milanese. Ah, they didn't forget about me. Wow, I don't even have far to run if this goes as downhill as it looks like it's going to go. Also, I think I am locked in on this. Yeah, I can't actually get there. I am blocked because I don't have my own fortifications held down here. Now, if I come out of all of this... No, there shouldn't be a problem ending my French war right now. I was keeping that going so that... Um, so that Portugal couldn't get involved in this war. But really, it's 
Spanish won't be able to get involved anyway, because I've attacked Milan. So I can end it with the French now. The Spanish won't be happy, so they'll probably break that alliance with me, which is what I'm looking for. And then I can go and attack them later. Diabolical, and it's going to work. I could probably take more out of the French, but really... Oh, Barry? Uh, whilst I'm grabbing a quick drink, guys, tell me, should Barry get back on the map? I know someone was shouting about them earlier. Okay, sorry. Loaded question, I know. Only true tasteless plebs would not want Barry back on the map. We're looking good. There's our French war done and dusted, limited to 10,000 ducats. Good to know. There we go. We get yet another institution province. Just making sure of that one again. Spain should sufficiently hate us. And that leaves only two more to get. I hope I don't have to own these as core provinces. No, just gotta own them. Beautiful. By beautiful, I mean more provinces to core. Now, why does that help? Well, it frees up these guys to join in this battle, which is uh, going a little south. But with more meat shields on the front line, I'm sure we'll be okay. Probably just get you there and everyone can march onto the ship, otherwise it's going to take forever. Come on, lads. We shouldn't be struggling with some Italians and discount Italians. Oh, damn, I should have kept that war going longer so I could have gotten wheat bled for this. Oh, well, I did, not So, what of this, then? Gotta remember that I'm here to fight Austria, but what I should probably just do is curb stomp Milan into the ground. They have far fewer forts for me to have to bomb rush my way through. In fact, looks like they have a capital and... Oh! There's a fort here, apparently. Hmm, okay. Let's rethink this one. You, and you, and done. But I need more troops here, stat. You'll get that Chivo eventually, Jake. Yeah, well, there's the thing, it's going to happen eventually. Do I look scared that I'm not going to get it? Because I'm not. I would, however, like generals on all of these people. And probably get rid of uh, generals that are leaving us in the lurch. Yeah, I knew it. Spain wants to break up with me. Tragic loss, but meh. Oh, hello, Hungary. This is not the best composition I've ever had in my life. All I need to do is grind Milan into dust, and then I have everything I need. No harm, no fuss, no foul. Uh, I don't have a lot of maneuverability to save each other, do I? Not a lot to save. Well, that's... it's a moot point. My units are on their way. Also Parma down. They would probably like some extra help. Verona seems a bit on their Todd, but that's okay. Alright, five years till we bring the pain to Spain. Fair. That's a lot of Austrians. 
And, oh, how's the Indian Zoo doing? They're an absolute monarchy. They're an absolute joke. Uh, right, I did finally get the ships that I would require to bring my units over. I should probably get on that. Because I've been neglecting it for quite some time. And why do I even have a general stuck over here? I think I was somewhat preparing for the incursion of the Koreans, but the coalition never did fire. So we're just fine. Who's marching here? Just a bunch of Austrians. That triggered something though, and I don't like the huge number of forces that there are around here. Fortunately though, it's victory for Tanner, as it always is. And I could get a decent battle to my advantage in the hills here, but there are so many enemy forces around. I'd have to drop all my sieges and throw everything that I have into the center here. Look, and they've got <sighs> one, two hundred, maybe two hundred and fifty thousand. I have a little bit fewer. But I'd still have to throw everything I have onto Parma. Hills, I have the better general. But really, I don't need everybody over here. All I need are all the cannons. That is to say 25,000 cannons. So why have anything other than the cannons that I need there? And the amount of units that I need, but that's only 24. That seems fine. You'll get into Parma on the 6th. Oh, wait, wrong. Wrong everything there. 23rd, 20th. Yeah, we'll make it happen. I knew they wouldn't have the balls. And it uh, looks like a stack wipe o'clock to me. What are these Spanish getting all uppity about? Running around like headless Spaniards. And I would like to grab uh, Navarra as well, but that's okay. As ugly as our composition is, we'll be fine like this. I just hope that they don't swing around and hurt us from the back here, because those cannons are very vulnerable. Speaking of very vulnerable, Ferrara's on its way down. Could smash into Verona. Don't really have the cannons to be doing so with great precision. But the two of you could get involved here. As one big ugly combined stack. Oh, that's lovely. All right, I could uh, probably peace out very soon. That wasn't right. That should be a ten to one. Oh well, it is what it is, and it ain't what it isn't. I left you all alone. Visa will be insufficient. Oh, let's not make a mistake here. Also, my three star general is over here when he should not be over there. It's not that important a province. Let's. Uh, vamos! feels good putting Austria in their place. It feels really good. I need a three siege general over on Sud Tyrol. I need about half of you right there. The rest of you can go there and I'm satisfied. Diane Hardness says, the late game army inflation is ridiculous, should probably be addressed in a later expansion. I am playing on very hard mode, that means that all the AIs that are not my subject get, where is it now, force limit boost of 50%, manpower boost of, I don't think it's showing there, but it should show here, 
50%. Uh, I think their armies are cheaper. I can't quite remember, but yeah. It's, um... Damn you, Trebizond. A lot of this is down to the very hard, massively overpowered armies. So don't sweat it. Alright, Sutro. He won't be done until a while yet, so on you go. This is what I feared. The Austrians coming to get us. Uh, not the Austrians, the discount Austrians. That's alright, Juno is still going down. A bit risky standing around in that mountain where they can get uh, good old defensive bonuses. And I didn't realize I was unpaused. But we've got a great general there. Don't have enough uh, cannon, but it's okay. It's all okay. I'm not a greedy guy. It's all I want. However, I was kind of also wanting Austria not to be allied with Spain. So what do we do? Are you scared of truce breaking? Because I'm not. I mean, it would be really cool to press a button right there and then. But that wouldn't really do me any favors right now. It would just put me into a war with a lot more people that I don't want to be at war with. Austria could join that war anyway. But you thought I'd push it. This is pushing me. The nice thing would be to take that off of you anyway, but uh, I need to occupy more and I don't have enough to get you out of this anyway. Jake, would breaking the Austrian Commonwealth Alliance and peace be enough for them to rival each other? There's no guarantee of that. But I want to be able to fight Spain without also having to fight Austria, because Austria have a lot on their side, and when did that happen? Many things would have happened when I wasn't looking. Phew, this is getting expensive. In what way, you ask? In every way. At least that's down, so this war is won. But yeah, the only war score you get from the belligerents blockading and occupying. So all the glorious war score I have here with uh, Milan is not worth all that much. This is a great opportunity though because... wait, why would Britain... Okay, Great Britain became defender of the faith. But Spain is allied with Chavoy. That would bring in the French. No one likes the French. You're also allied with someone I've never heard of, and the Norwegians. I mean, what do the Norwegians even do? Why do they even exist? I'm not scared of Norwegians. It means I would have to utterly crush Spain to get what I want out of them, but that sounds fine to me. I can end this facade. I just want to be sure that that is the origin province. There, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and we're at war with the last one. Like I said, this campaign, it ends tonight. Now, uh, one reasonable question is how do I get over to Spain? Well, remember when their uh, navy got sunk? Because I do. Plus, quite a few of my guys are exiled here. We can make our way over to Manipur. And France hates Spain. Not enough to give us access, but they'll probably give someone else involved access. Well, probably. <laughs> no guarantees there, unfortunately. Also, remember when the Spanish army was competent? Me neither. We should be fine.
Oh, hello, Spanish army. I was just uh, just talking about how good you are. That's late game. Who gives a flying battery? Eh, we can do better than that. Get out of my land, Spanish scum! You have no right. No right to exist. Right, so we got no way over. Just because the French aren't going to give up anything here. It's unfortunate. It means we're going to have to sail over. Was somebody asking who Manipur is? Manipur starts with one little province right here, and I suspect in about half an hour we'll have this all wrapped up. Man, half an hour might be pushing it. And you'll be able to see the time lapse of what Manipur started with and what we grew into. Start shipping a few of our units over there. Oh, he got into France. How did you get into France? Yeah, you got conditional military access, but I do not. Now, if you want to come and... F well, I mean, if you just want to plain old go over to Lien, uh to that province, I'm not going to stop you. I'm just going to kill you! And keep purging uh, all of Asia of anything short of animism. And, of course, Hindu, but I like the Hindu. Our client state's doing pretty well. The Indian Zoo has uh, cored everything, actually. Good job. Some of them are just territorial cores, but I'm impressed. They probably make tons of money off of Ceylon. Well, maybe not tons of money, but they make money. I don't have any debt to pay off, I see. Not anymore. Jake, how far are the Chinese? They are all being culled, with the sole exception of this island, which will take very little time. It'll take, I think, uh, 30 months. But the problem there is, are you, you're able to get out of there. I can't approve of that. Oh well, it is what it is. some reason that you can't get on that boat. Yeah, it's because you're still moving. Makes sense. I'm out of Girona. I don't know what they just occupied, but it's probably something like... Eh. Yeah, something like eh. If he wants to make his way over to Italy, then more power to you. I'm still going to crush you. My generals are better, my armies are better, I'm just better. Three siege, three siege, and amazing everything. Sounds like a trip over to Valencia to me. Somebody's asking what achievements. Well, in addition to Fanatic Collectivist, which we are one province away from getting, the Animal Kingdom, we managed to pick up Gentle Persuasion by chance and Combined Arms. And I keep trying for We Bled for this. But the problem is I'm just so good at the game, I can't even lose enough units to get that achievement. It's a curse, I'm telling you. Also, I forgot about these guys, didn't I? They'll probably die along the way, but good luck. As we say here, can I boot it? With regards to my little stacks. Money a mickle, a mack a muckle. Oh, 
Oh, are you kidding me? Two blockade? No, that is beyond worthless. Oh yeah, these provinces. I mean, come on, they're Swedish. Couldn't fight their way out of a paper bag. For fear of offending someone. Alright, you guys... Well, you probably have a general on you, right? Three siege again. Sounds like Mercia's going down to me. Jake, Cor Verona. I mean, Vinny, just Cor, basically. It's no problem. What's overextension going to do to us? We're here to grab one province. Precisely one. That said, though, if they blockade or uh, occupy all of our provinces around here, that's a problem for me. Feels good being brilliant. Uh, no guys, you need to go to Alicante. I want a port. We need Vizcaya, but that means we're going to have to occupy pretty much the country. But that's all right. What's my response to level 8 forts? 40 cannons and a 3 siege general. Did I say a 3 siege general? I meant uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 3 siege generals. I trust you understand. Jake, don't hurt your shoulder patting yourself on the back there. That's a good one. I like that. Can't help being this good. It's like a curse. What provinces do you need for Fanatic Collectivist? You need to get all the provinces where the institutions spawn. And in this campaign, that was Vizcaya, Charlois, Verona, Treviso. Hood Vengar and Kaffa. Of course, with the power of China behind us, it was a foregone conclusion. China behind us, maybe it was more like China below us. for another one of our three seizures, I think. Blockade the Gulf of Lyon, Jake. Actually, I could blockade both of these and get some bonuses going. Clever thinking there, Batman. Oh, wow, these guys actually made it. Shame that they're over in uh, the wrong territory there. Also, you don't have a... Well, you know what, never mind. They'll be there 10th of March, I'll be here 10th of Ma. that's not so good. Oh well, whatever, I'll fight them without a general. If it means we're closer to, uh, we bled for this, then I'm all for it. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be that for it, that hurt. Hang around in Lyon A there. I'll get my units right back with a not so terrible general. And then you're gonna die. Mm. My roots to you are all blocked by fortification, so I do need to take this province. It is what it is. Honestly, I'm more concerned about you breaking your arms as hard as you're patting your back, Jake. Ah, come on. 
I go through a lot of these streams with people ripping into me. When things start going my way, it's only natural that I start patting myself on the back. You know, I'm a humble individual. I should be allowed at least this. Just in case you're um, not well versed in this game, I am playing like complete arse. There was once upon a time when I was really good at this game, but I have gotten so lazy, I just play terribly. And really, these wars should have been a cinch for anybody with an ounce of experience under their belt. But I get to the late game and I go, rah, yeah, rah. We'll, we'll just throw troops around, it'll be fine. And I take so many losses, it's embarrassing. So do not draw inspiration from this. Well, maybe draw inspiration, but certainly don't draw technique from all of this. Because that would be dangerous. Yeah, decadence. That's exactly what I've got. So decadent, I'm pretty much Muslim here. That was a CK2 reference. This is kind of shameful. I didn't mean to hit Ferrara so hard they explode like that. Our Empress Consort is a fearless woman. That's martial education for you, but I'll take that military power. Maybe I'll waste it on some more uh, some more generals. Last ditch laugh from Savoy. They want to throw a condottieri at me. Well, let's spend that 50 mil that our Empress gave us. Empress Consort at that. Hunt them down and destroy them. Wait, where'd they go? They were Savoyard, right? Pretty sure it said Savoyard. Great. With this, I can take the final dastardly province that I need. Jake, from the early videos, you looked like you had a lot of fun being the underdog this campaign. Is this the most fun EU4 campaign yet, or does some other campaign have that badge? We will never, probably, find a campaign as enjoyable as Bad Ideas Guy was. Bad Ideas Guy was so good. I've had a lot of fun with this campaign. Uh, it's kind of difficult to rate them all because experiences get weathered with time. Things that you think you remember, they uh, get distorted as time goes on. Alright, we have grabbed our province here. They're probably willing to surrender it. Or we could uh, punch someone nice out. Everyone loves the cat land, right? No, oh, they've got... Uh, they're asking for too much here. Oh, Albania. They... Uh, I don't have a province occupied of there. I like the Great Leon. But uh, even that's asking for too much. These guys are greedy. Oh, can't go wrong with the Sardinians, and you can never go wrong with money. Just want to make absolutely sure that's the correct province. Major colonial port. Cheers, buddy. Pleasure doing business with you. And there we go, achievement get. Maybe if I'm quick enough, there we go. Fanatic collectivist. It's all mine. Also, what were you even wanting out of me? I... Give something to Vigianagar, release Ayutthaya, Venice, ah, what a load of rubbish. Alright, but that is Manipur done. We went through Europe, we punched just about everyone we could. And whilst there's a lot more punching we could do, we're in the late game, we're unstoppable. There's no point beating dead horses. We managed to get the Animal Kingdom achievement, we managed to get the... Fanatic Collectivist Achievement, and if there's stats or things you want to see in the game, now is the time to demand them. I will be showing the timeline once we stop going through this and patting myself on the back here. Man, Manipur. 
probably the biggest underdog campaign we've ever had. We did not get a break until we pretty much united China. The endless tidal waves of Condottieri, Vigianagar pulling god knows what out of god knows where. So many units to destroy. Well, we managed to keep Bhutan and Nepal around for the long haul, I'm happy with that. Jake says, congrats, shame you could not convert all the Chinese scrub. Oh, well that's true. That is true. They're not all converted, but the conversions are all being done, so I can take happy... I mean, it would just be a case of unpausing and waiting for... which one's taking the longest here? Which one's taking the longest? Xing Shui, I guess? Xing Shui will be done in 95. I'm not going to keep this stream going for 24 years just to watch Chinese people get thrown onto bonfires. Hmm. No, no. Maybe if we had the CK2 Black Death chucking bodies onto bonfires, then, uh, then I might let it run out for a while. Cultural map mode, Jake. Yes, yeah, certainly. Here we go. That growing chin. It is a bit shameful that it couldn't finish it off and get a nice big chin here, but... Uh, I'm sure we're all busy people. We have places to be. Culture and religion. Sure, here we go. Animism is rampant. You're very limited with missionaries when you play Pagan, because you only get one available as base and one from religious ideas. Not from the likes of Christians, Muslims, and... Yeah, Christians and Muslims who get overwhelming numbers of them from taking holy sites. Show the losses screen. We have to pay our respects. Army losses, there we go. Ottomans lost 14 million. Then Spain, France, Austria, Commonwealth, Vigianagar. We are pretty low down on the list, having only sent 3.7 million Chinamen to their death for the glorious cause of Manipur. Hmm, Animist and Manipur's names on the map line up pretty well there. Yeah, deaths overall is pretty high. Jake, you can have a pat in the back from me as well. There we go. All is well. Highest developed provinces. I'm not sure if there is something for that in the ledger at all, but if we look at development here, where's the bright green? There's always quite a bit of it in Europe. France at 53. Jings, that's, that's not good enough. 51 over in Vienne, 50 in Brandenburg. So I don't think anything is capping out above 55 here, not even the City of World's Desire. We have the power to change that, so let's. Manipur is too great. Let's right, raise it right up. That's better. Yeah. There is a development tab in the ledger for it, Jake. Well, search me. Where am I even looking for that? Province overview? Probably not. There we go. Okay, that kind of disgusts me. Manipur should be right at the top there. How much do we need to develop you further? 136? Say no more. Give me that admin. And I need that mill as well. Naturally, Manipur is number one. Number one. Oh, this feels great. This feels damn great. What achievements haven't you got, Jake? I used to have 100%, but then it all got ruined. When Wiz kept adding more and more of them, and he said, Jake, if you ever try to go for 100% again, I will just keep adding more. Well, now he's been kicked out, but uh, I'm sure his influence can still reach that far. There's still plenty to go. Some really difficult ones I still don't have, you know, like Georgia on my mind. Or, you know, networking. Ooh. 100 spy network in three rival nations. Not going to happen on my watch. I wasn't even close to a thousand provinces in this one. Alright, all is well. We're going to have uh, the timeline. I guess we'll have a timeline both in Asia and in the world. But bearing in mind that Manipur starts with just this. Sit back and relax. But I will, I'm going to cease talking. So for me, for this evening, it's cheers and 
I'll be back with the next grand strategy. If you have recommendations for it, send me a private message with them. I encourage it. Some of the best ideas have come for you. Not many, but, you know, some. <laughs>